Now, I wanted to spend a segment or two with our next guest, uh, and, and we've got his video posted at InfoWars.com if you're a radio listener. We're going to play some of it uh, here in a moment for audio uh, listeners to hear it, but also for viewers at PrisonPlanet.tv to see it. Uh, Danny Penzella is an example of someone actually targeting the real criminals, not going and burning down a warehouse or a furniture store, not carjacking someone, but actually going and peacefully protesting the private Federal Reserve parasite in New York City. And that's why it's come out now that the Pentagon, Homeland Security, is watching and tracking anyone that criticizes the Federal Reserve as a chilling effect and uh, deploying police and even military in some cases at in the Fed peaceful rallies. This goes back three years. We cover it in my film, The Obama Deception. Danny, a few days before he went down there, called for a protest at the New York Fed. Now, because he's an activist who has a small site, it didn't get a res big response. He was the only person, an army of one, uh, who showed up with uh, his child in the uh, baby stroller. And he walked up and they had police every five feet. You can watch the video at InfoWars.com in the 9-11 section and the banking section. In fact, I, I forget what section it's in. Um, Here's the headline if you want to find it. Police surround New York Federal Reserve after in the Fed flash mob Facebook post. Danny Panzella, True Squad TV. So that's how you can find it uh, right there. Now, this is an example of how all over the United States, L.A. riots, Katrina, examples decades ago or just five years ago, you will see the police not show up, the military not show up. When it's a big political event, they're ordered to stand down. Now, if you're being mugged at your house, cops a lot of times show up really quick. Sometimes they can't. That's why you need a second amendment to, uh, to defend yourself. But the issue here is that when it's the Federal Reserve, the real criminal, fraudster, hijacker, owners of America, they do show up. And, and it's an incredible image of the giant Federal Reserve building in New York built like a fortress with giant bars on the windows, had police every five feet all the way around it, and Danny comes up and says, why are you here? And they say, oh, there was going to be a flash mob, but nobody showed up. And then Danny laughs and goes ahead and hands out his flyers. So the issue is, this is the real establishment. This is who needs to be identified. Not their puppet Obama, not their puppet Mitt Romney, their puppet George W. Bush, James Cameron, Merkel, Barroso, Rumpy. We need to talk about the real criminals, the people that have engineered this global collapse to re-engineer society. Danny, I, I, I've got to salute what you did because it turned into a big deal online. Hundreds of thousands have seen it, watched it. Uh, you failed at, uh, in getting anybody to show up, but you succeeded by stepping up to the plate, and so you won. Resistance is victory. And you illustrated how scared to death they are of peaceful people simply protesting the real power. And it shows it is the real power that uh, if, you're, you know, if you're going to protest uh, or, or, or going to burn somebody's shop, cops don't show up. But if you go to peacefully protest the real criminals, they do. Absolutely. Thanks, Alex. That was a great introduction. Yeah, I mean, I think it's interesting that um, the police, when I got there, um, I walked right up to them. I shook their hands. I introduced myself. I said, I'm the flash mob you guys are waiting for. And they laughed it off because they thought I was trying to get rid of them so that the real mob could show up. Uh, you know, they just were expecting some kind of violent mob. And I even said to them, I said, you know, this guy, this is a fortress here. How could you, <laughs> why would you even be worried about it? I said, all this police response to a Facebook post is just, it's silly. Well, you notice that building was built, what, in the 20s. It is a fortress, and all their buildings have moats around them or giant walls. The one in Dallas has parapets around it. I mean, they've been getting ready for what they've set up for a long time. That's why they're armored fortresses. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, I think that the, the big issue here, for me, being a New Yorker, uh, obviously the Fed and the uh, Federal Reserve System is a big issue for the whole country. Uh, but... 
the fact that they're using the NYPD, and, you know, they have their own uh, Federal Reserve police, but now they're using the NYPD. And it's funny that the one of the, either a lieutenant or captain, had said to me, uh, yeah, you know, uh, some people, they want to get their money's worth. So I'm curious who exactly he meant by that. Was that the Federal Reserve looking to get their money's worth? Was that the federal government, who we know uh, gives grants to the NYPD to implement their policies? Uh, the NYPD has hired Rand Corporation to develop policies for them. So I'm curious exactly who he meant. I mean, I guess it's all the same in the end. The federal well, we Reserve know crime has government. exploded in New York and other areas, and I see reports all the time about women raped, mugged in broad daylight in even nice areas. The police won't come. You know, the police should be in Central Park dealing with crime, but you notice they're always there getting in the face of peaceful political demonstrations. And, and this really illustrates these are the owners of America, and, th and that's why they were there. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's really uh, it's disgraceful. And, you know, the um, Daily News reported yesterday that, I don't know if you saw this yet, that the NYPD has unveiled its social networking task force where they're going to be monitoring uh, social networking as well. So here we have, uh, I was able to break this story about a month early before the police admitted it that they're actually, and we know that this is under federal directive. Well, absolutely. I did see the report, but, but really what's happening here, illustrated by Twitter, refusing to shut down accounts that were saying, let's meet and burn this down. Let's meet and rob these people. Clearly criminal activity. The police have a direct line to the IP address, where to go arrest them, doing nothing. The police say, oh, we stood down but for four days, but will you shut these people down? Twitter says no. So David Cameron comes out today and says, we want a total kill switch now over Twitter, just like Egypt used. And so now they'll selectively do it. When it's their political mob that Al Gore called for in Arab Spring, they'll be left alone. But when it's us using it peacefully, we'll be shut down. Yeah, absolutely. And what does this do? This really has a chilling effect on uh, free speech and freedom of assembly. You know, there might be people that will see these types of things. And that's why I really wanted to illustrate in my, my video that if you just go and you form a rapport with the police and you kind of just show them that you're not a threat, you're no physical threat, you're just there to educate people, then that will counteract what the system is trying to do. Because I don't want people to be intimidated by the fact that, uh, you know, they're, they're doing this and then not show up to a protest. Well, that's right. They're trying to sell the idea that protesting is burning, looting, and killing, and that's why they stood down right. in London, stood down in Seattle when their hired thugs uh, got the party started. I want to come back and talk to you about Picking today, tomorrow, whatever's good for you, I'm ready to try to help you. Let's get 500, 1,000 people down there for a real event. Uh, let's pick um, Let's pick this tomorrow afternoon if you want. Uh, when we come back, we'll also play a clip. Why? Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Your calls and a ton of key news coming up in the next 30 minutes after this short segment. Then we're going to get into, well, a discussion of talk radio and communications and how to really get the word out on more AM and FM stations. We'll also discuss uh, how the media has changed with Michael Zwirling, uh, who is an independent radio station operator out in California. Uh, now, uh, if you want to watch the video in its entirely, it's in the U.S. News section of Infowars.com, police surround New York Federal Reserve after in the Fed flash mob Facebook protest. And Danny uh, Panzella is our uh, guest right now. Uh, and I had the idea. I said, how about we have a demonstration? And I said, when is a good time, Danny? And he said, well, four o'clock's when Wall Street lets out. And you can really talk to, you know, the, the, uh, the traders. Yeah, boy, that's a... That's a pun intended. You can talk to the Federal Reserve low-level minions coming out of the private uh, cancer uh, that is the uh, seat of evil uh, here in the United States, the uh, Bank of England arm known as the New York Fed. So we're going to have a spontaneous uh, demonstration. And again, this won't save the world, but resistance to tyranny will. And then you'll shoot YouTube videos, you'll post them, hundreds of thousands will see it. Then they'll get the idea to protest their Fed in their area instead of going and protesting the puppet Obama, which then everybody just ignores. 
It's these types of uh, events that actually get attention. So everybody, 4 to 6 tomorrow. Try to get there at 4, but if you can't, 5, 6 o'clock. 4 to 6, New York Federal Reserve. Let's play a clip uh, of uh, Danny uh, going up and the entire building being surrounded by police guarding their banker owners from the evil people that would criticize the foreign uh, criminals. Here it is. Have the Fed surrounded? You guys usually have the Fed surrounded? No, no, we just here for today. Uh, no, something special going on. Something special going on. I'll work uptown. I don't know why. Well, this cop says flash mob. What's going on today? You guys got the Fed surrounded. That's not normal. Just a drill. Okay. Just a drill. Cop said just a drill. What's going on today? They don't usually have the Fed surrounded. No, there's going to be a flash mob. No, nah, there's going to be a flash mob today, but they never showed up. And then here's his little Facebook posting. And by little, I'm not belittling it. I'm saying that's how big things start. Like Luke Radowski literally had almost no support, no followers, came on this show. He was oppressed by the police, threatened. People witnessed it. So they went and supported him. And now hundreds of groups worldwide educating folks. And I hope that's what comes out of this. Going down there with his uh, young son, uh, Danny uh, Penzella, thank you so much for what you've done. Uh, folks can watch the full video again at Truth Squad TV or at InfoWars.com. But I hope to see at least 200, 300 people spontaneously join you down there tomorrow at 4. Uh, uh, any final comments? Yeah, you know, I wanted to mention the compartmentalization that you could see with the cops. As I approached each one and they had different ranks, one guy had no idea why he was there. The other guy thought it was a drill. And then finally, the lieutenant was the one who actually knew, uh, you know, what was going on. So you could just see how they use the, the compartmentalization to keep the police uh, going forward with, with a, an agenda that's clearly unconstitutional. Well, they certainly do. And it's that very Federal Reserve that's the consortium for the mega banks that are destroying those officers' future and the value of their dollar. I mean, th there are the criminals, and there's a great example of compartmentalization with the police there in mass protecting their kings. Earlier in the video, if we can back it up and find the spot and just show the image for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers, radio listeners can go watch it on the websites, Truth Squad TV and InfoWars.com. Uh, but if you uh, watch the video, what, about every five feet there's a cop stationed all the way around the building? Yeah, yeah, they were they were all around all four blocks. I walked, I, it's not in the video, but I walked all four blocks around the Fed, and they were surrounding the whole building. Yeah, in some areas of the video, it looks like every five feet. In other areas, about every 15, uh, but just incredible. How many police total? Hundreds? I would say there were probably about 40 spanning the whole, the whole four blocks. Four blocks surrounding. Well, you know they'll be out there tomorrow, and I can hear your child in the background. Is it a boy or girl? It's a boy. That's Xander. Well, hopefully he's going to have a future because his daddy uh, will uh, dare go point out the emperor has no clothes. And uh, thank you so much for what yeah. you're doing. I hope folks will join you tomorrow. Tell folks the street address if they don't know where it is. It's 33 Liberty Street uh, down in the Wall Street area. And Alex, if I could just real quick, I'd like to plug. We're, I'm hosting Liberty Fest New York City on September 10th, and it's LFNYC.com. We're having Richard Gage, uh, Gary Franchi. Uh, Peter Schiff, a whole bunch of guests. We actually, I sent you an invitation. You know, I know you said you weren't going to be able to make it to New York. You're welcome. Jesse Ventura might be coming. So we just hope everybody. Well, let me call York Jesse will come today. Out. I'm supposed to call him, anyways. And we'll see about that. But we're going to watch what happens tomorrow. Everybody get out there and join Danny. We'll be right back with the news. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GC.